Hey everybody, welcome back to Arcanum. Alright, got a couple of comments here. One really long one from some guy, and a fairly short one from uh, Fulpez. Pretty annoying, but kind of cool. NPC looting mechanic, self-sufficient. Yeah, but I didn't really like it because it just kind of came out of nowhere, you know. Uh, and there was no control over the NPC. You couldn't set their behavior at all. And if you weren't aware of what the NPCs did, you could basically be completely shut out on getting any kind of loot, which really kind of screws you as far as, you know, purchasing more gear and whatnot. And a uh, long-winded uh, comment from uh, some guy, mostly just mocking me for losing uh, the battle quite a few times, which, you know, I suppose I got it coming considering how much I laughed at him for getting completely and utterly pegged without lube by Victoria in uh, Battle Heck. Which, you can, I can put a link to that in my comments, uh, in the description or comments below. You can go watch that. <laughs> I don't know, how many episodes did she, like, completely make you, make you, uh, her bitch there, some guy? <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks for the comments, guys. Let's get into this. Oh, full disclosure, I went out and I gained another level. The way you do that is you, uh, well, I can't do anything here. I gotta actually run back a little ways so I can use my map. What you do is uh, around here, where these uh, little locations are, you can actually uh, plot a course using the uh, little multi-navigational uh, point things here. And you can have your guy wander around basically in a circle and hit random encounters. There are a fair number of encounters to hit, so it works out pretty good. All right, well, let's... Oh, well, anyway, uh, having leveled up, I went ahead and I took one... Um, rank in persuasion what have I done to offend allow me to make amends Lucan the witless master thief isn't known for his patience and you how could I possibly speak with one of your obvious inferocious demeanor yeah this guy thinks he's smart but he's actually a fucking idiot inferocious that's inferior you bloody pinhead great Lucan prince of thieves accept my humblest apologies well, now that you put it that way, your manners might just be salvation, salivational. I'll give you a chance, I suppose. Thank you so much. May I ask you something? I need to cross this bridge. I'll just let you read that, because frankly, I'm, my brain keeps trying to switch to the proper word, and uh, it's giving me a fucking headache. I may be able to persuade you otherwise. What Really, what could po you possibly tell me that would change my mind about taking your money? While well, I'm a thief as well, we share the common bond. Is that a fact? You don't seem much of a thief to me. I'd peg you for a tourist or arist uh, aristocracy. Nothing like the gen degenerals I usually keep company with. Perhaps you'd better just cough up the toll. This is my disguise. I'm po posing as an outlander. I suppose it's possible. Your dress is fairly nondescript. Hmm, if you are a thief, what are you doing here? The word gets around. You know how it is. Oh, so you've heard about us through the Thieves Underground. Fantabulous. I knew it was only a matter of time before we were noticed. Yeah, Steve's Underground. Right, they sent me here. They did? Splendid. Which organiza organization are you from? Torrance? Or Caledon? Torrance, of course. I knew it. I knew the Underground in Torrance would hear about us if we cantalized Shrouded Hills long enough. Things are looking up, boys. We're going to be famous. You're terrorizing here. Hasn't gone unnoticed. Of course not. I know the underground sees all, and I made very sure not to step on anyone's toes here in the area. I know the underground is very careful about keeping members out of each other's territories. Actually, that's the reason I'm here. See, it's not enough to just have the point in um, persuasion. You actually have to work your way through the conversation tree and persuade him. Because if you don't, uh, if you do it wrong, you can have you can make a perfect persuasion check but you still fail because you didn't do it right. Oh no, we've gone and trespassed on someone's territory, haven't we? Believe me, good man, we'd never do such thing intentionally. You must believe me. No, you must tell the underground that we are unaware of any activity in the general vasectomy. We would never dream of moving in on someone else's business. Okay, Lucan, I believe you, but we do have a situation here. Yes, but I'm sure there's something we can do about this, right? I mean, we could leave here right away. No one would be the wiser, and you could tell the underground that Lucan is a man who respects authority. Yes, there might be a possibility. <laughs> there are reparations. 
Of course we pay whatever the underground thought necessary. I've collected quite a bounty from Shattered Hills. Yes, we'll just pay what you think is fair and get out of here. That sounds fair. Let's call it 200 gold. 200 it is. He hands it to you. Oh, thank you so much. And again, please send my most humiliatory apologies to the underground in Tarrant. We would hate to ruin our chances for a membership in the future. This money will go a long way towards clearing your name. Thank the gods they sent someone patient. Yada, yada, yada. Take your time, but I don't want to see you here You return if I return. Okay. Goodbye. Good day, Lucan. Okay. Just out of shit, just for shits and giggles. Still turning out badly. Nope. I was being greedy and seeing if I could get the second fate point for killing these guys, but nope, it's not gonna work. Okay. Ugh, I've been seriously hurt. Yeah, we're not gonna wait for that that to end. The dice rolls are not with me. Let's see, uh You know, just for shits and giggles. Now you might not want to stand there, Sog. There we go. And one other thing, too, the NPCs in this will grab shit off the ground, which normally wouldn't be too bad, but there are times when they can do that and they can completely fuck things up doing it. They can take shit that you were planning on getting, or even worse, they can load themselves up and get themselves massively encumbered. Like there's one spot in a certain massive side quest that you may have to do. You don't actually have to do it, but it's not a bad idea to do it where you have to get a giant stone block that's going to get turned into an altar. Well, uh, this asshole here will, like, go around and pick up all the fucking giant stone blocks in the area. Which, it's amusing, but not really. Hey, little shit. Hello, I thought we'd run into each other out here. Ah, Mr. Radcliffe, what is it you need? The ring, stranger. It's mine, and I won't ask for it again. Refuse me and things won't go well for you. I recommend you get the hell out of my way, sir. The only place you're going is the hell. I, I, shit, I can't get Saga in here to do anything to him. Yeah, he's down. There we go. You little piece of shit. Let's see, what's the letter say? The IFS Zephyr has crashed just outside Shrouded Hills. Kill Radcliffe if he's still alive. As we don't know who he's spoken to, kill any other survivors. Hmm. Ah, what the hell, I'll hang on to that letter for now. But first... Just a regular dagger and a Malukian hand amulet. Dagger can be sold. The uh, amulet's not really worth much. I think it's worth like nine gold at best. Let's see how are we doing on experience. Thirty-eight, fourteen. Not bad, not bad. 
There we go. Now, if I could, I remember it being somewhere around here. I probably should have saved, but I won't. Oh, no, it's not going to go well. I have no idea what you mean. I'm not the person you're looking for. Prepare to die, dog. Well, nope, that's not going to work out. I'm out of fatigue. Wasn't really watching my fatigue level. Oh well, doesn't matter. I won, he lost. All that matters. Just as soon as my fatigue comes back enough where I can get up. There we go. Hey, we got some leather armor. What is it that you want of me? Can this douchebag use armor like that? I don't know. Um, I got I got to unload his fucking inventory. Yeah, he can. Good. We'll make it a little more survivable for uh, Virgil here. The problem is that my, I keep trying to make like like hit certain buttons or make certain or click on certain things or make certain moves that I'm so used to in games like Baldur's Gate and Pillars of Eternity and you know similar RPGs and whatnot and this game just doesn't have that you know I'm just having to relearn shit I used to play the fuck out of this game back in the day like I've said before I even designed a campaign for it because this game actually comes with its own um, editors you know you can build your own world map and everything Actually, building a world map like this is a little bit difficult, but once you figure out the trick, it's it, it's a there's a workaround to it. In other words, it's not really baked into the uh, normal process that easily. Ah. Oh, we got some kites, or at least a kite. Critical miss, awesome. Did I drop my fucking weapon? No. Little bastard. Well, target him. Well, fuck me running. Fucking Virgil. Out of uh, fatigue again. I need to drag a fatigue potion down here. Or no, I don't. I think I've got the one. Yeah, I don't even know if that's actually going to work very well on on him. Okay, it does work. Okay, because that's a technological thing. So I'm not. I wasn't too certain as whether or not that was going to work out too well. I guess maybe my uh, magic tech meters 
Well, we're not terribly off balance. I'm tempted to take the one the next time I get a, a two skill points. I'm tempted to take just one in technology for uh, making the pure iron ore, but that's kind of a waste. Because I know you could find some laying around. I forget what town it is, but there's some laying around there. And if you finish the uh, Bessie Toon thing, um, that quest, then you can, uh, uh, there'll be some laying next to where she spawns in at. From what I can recall. Okay, um, wait, first, first and foremost, not doing this shit all over again. There are no autosaves. This, there's no hand-holding. Speaking of no hand-holding and no autosaves, I've been looking into possibly doing, um, at some point in the future, Ravenloft Strahd's Possession, since I thought some guy was going to do it, but, you know, I, I guess his webbles have shrink, so, you know, he's not wanting to do that. No. <laughs> no, I <coughs> didn't think about doing that one. I don't know, what's everybody think? It's a first-person uh, RPG. Ah. Um, it's pretty old, though. It's from back in the days of DOS. But it's probably one of the better ones as far as uh, graphical quality and things like that go. It's still all sprite-based, but, you know, it's fully voiced. You know, at least all the important characters and whatnot. Jesus Christ. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get my fucking uh, willpower up. I've been seriously Fuck. hurt, sir. Please help me. Great. Uh, I've been seriously hurt, sir. Please help me. Fucking Virgil. Uh, I've been seriously hurt, sir. Put that fucking Please wolf down me. already. Jesus Christ. Great, I'm out of... Okay. Definitely gotta get her willpower up. Sleep for one hour, yeah. There we go. Gets everything back. Actually, maybe going after this little uh, stash spot might be a bad idea right now, because... Oh. oh, fuck off with the wolves already, man. Because that's actually what's in the stash spot. I guess the grenade must have completely... God sake, hurt, man, sir. this guy is Please made out of me. fucking paper. Uh, I've been seriously hurt, okay, sir. no, Virgil Please just ate it. Me. I really need to be able to offload this shit, though. That's the major problem. A lickanthrope. Oh, good. Because this is not going to go fucking sideways. Good doggy. Play dead. Looking, no, fuck, looking throp, looking throp, whatever. Probably wasn't worth all that much way of experience when he went down so easily. Fuck, I know it's around in this area somewhere, just fuck.
I'm gonna wander until I fucking find it. Or until something kills me. Which stat controls, uh, well, I can't actually look now, but which stat actually controls, uh, your ability to hit? It's dexterity. Yeah, I think dexterity is the one that handles your two hits in this. Oh, he hits both of them, huh? Okay, there we go. Remember the kite swords, how much they're actually worth. They're not worth much. He's got nothing. Enough. I'm going to lay off of picking up those swords, though, because I don't think they're worth a whole lot. I know that damn cave is somewhere in here. Oh, oh fuck. Wolves, great. No, I'm reloading. I'm not fucking not doing that. I'm just trying to find the damn cave. Well, if I remember right, there's like a couple of wolves there too, but I'm trying not to burn all my resources up just so I can have something there to fight them fucking wolves. Uh, let's see. Well, at least he's just a bear. Ugh, I've been seriously hurt, sir. Please help me. It is done. No, he just got wiped out. Okay. There it is. All right, let's see just how bad this is. I might be a little bit too uh, low level and under geared for this, but we'll see. I kind of wish I had fucking fire flash. You know, the fireball spell basically. That would actually be kind of useful. You know, just wing it, just chuck a fucking fireball into the room and then have it, you know, explode and... Well, that don't look like wolves. There you go. Yeah, I can't see shit, so. Alright, that works. Ah, shit. I was gonna fucking save. Hell yes, I save scum. I don't give a fuck. Get used to seeing the save screen. You're gonna see it a fucking lot. Actually, it occurs to me, I can just dump all my shit in that barrel right there. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna use this barrel right here for now. 
Hey, I got a level. Cool. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna want some willpower. That's gonna be needed. The next song, bump, bump charisma up. I want at least a 12 charisma by the end of the game. Probably more, because I want to get some more, more followers. More meat shield. Okay, that armor's off my, uh, off my ass now, so. What is it that you want of me? Okay, the spikes, I don't think I can sell those for anything, really. How much is he, does he have? Um. See if he's got anything else of any real use. TH. What the hell is TH? I, I don't remember what TH actually is. Um, hmm. Well, anywho. Okay, well, we'll, we'll see what else we got going on in this cave, because why the hell not? There may be some useful loot in here, from what I recall. Wait, go this way. Oh yes, there is definitely useful loot. I will take that. Oh, fucking poison. Oh, only got key poison, so that's okay. The nice thing is, every time you level up, your followers level up too. So, Virgil got a, his his own skill point, and so did Sog. So, they would have gone ahead and applied those toward their uh, various classes. Yeah, run away, you little bastard. Drop, but I'm gonna just. Well, let's see here. Um, unpoisoning. What the fuck? Well, great. I'm getting fucking aggravated. Mental note, any DM that uses poison in the game gets punched in the face, so... <laughs> oh, shit. That's the way to show those bastards I mean... Good hit, sir. Alright, better. That's where he is. Are you fucking serious right now? Fucking die already. Okay, so why is this not working? What's going on with this fucking thing? Okay, well, anyway, the poison's gone. Virgil's 
Got his back lilts, lesser skeleton. Lockpicks, I didn't need to buy them, but I will take the gloves. They might be worth a few bucks, but not much. Ammo, that shit can go to Virgil. What is it that you want of me? Next, I'm not sure what I'm going to... Oh, whoops. Forgot. Not sure what uh, companions I'm going to have with me, so I'm just going to carry the ammo with me until I know for certain. I don't know what the uh, the, the container. Um, yeah, we're not fucking doing that shit. That can that can just fuck off. I'm gonna wait until I got a little bit more, a uh, few more levels under my belt before I come back here and clear this place out the rest of the way. <clears throat> it's easier to get quest experience than monster experience in many ways. Okay, well, anyway, we have this place all nice and wrapped up, so let's get the fuck out of here. Fuck me running. Probably gonna kill the shit out of Virgil. I've been seriously hurt, sir. Please help me. Son of a bitch. I am just getting the worst fucking luck on the damn random encounters matrix here, dude. Like, seriously. Ugh. Oh, for fuck's sake. A fucking timber. No, I'm not fucking fighting this shit. Fuck that shit. I don't remember the encounter rate being quite this fucking high. I mean, it was nice when I was trying to level up around Shady Sands, but now I just want to get to fucking Torrent. Actually, wait. I actually got out of the damn wolf cave, so let's... Ah! You assholes, get the fuck out of the way and let me loot. Oh, there's nothing to loot. He's a bowman. Where the hell's his bow or his arrows? Yeah, I don't really think the short bow's worth even fucking with. I'll hang on to the arrows for the moment. I'll, I'll do inventory management off camera. It seems weird that your uh, fatigue instantly heals up even though you're traveling, you're by foot especially. I'm definitely gonna need some more fatigue restorers. Ugh. For fuck's sake! Now I'm kinda getting a little bit pissed off.
Now we're gonna save right fucking here because we actually made some goddamn progress. Oh, uh, yeah, of course, the natural's gonna do that shit. Nope, I'm cheesing it. I'm just not doing this. Not having this. I'm trying to get into fucking Torrent. Not. <laughs> you gotta be fucking kidding me, man. <coughs> I need to make some money and get some resources built up. Good God Almighty, man. Look at this fucking encounter rate, dude. Like, seriously. The RNG gods are just like, you know what? Fuck you, Spy 4. Oh, God. Now there's three of them, so this is not going to be a good fight. Okay. That actually worked out okay. Don't run over there to him, you fucking idiots. Okay, I'm going to end my turn right there. Ah, he's got to come up right after me. There we go. How are we doing on experience? 8.36 next. Okay, cool. What kind of shit you assholes have on you? A dagger, a shitty robe. Eh. We'll just sell whatever we can out of their crap. Hey, a little bit of armor. Alright, can we make it into Torrent? Or am I going to get butt-fucked by the last remaining dragon in all of Arcanum? They're going to say, oh, all the dragons have been hunted down with the way my luck's been going. I'm fair sure there's at least one left, and it's coming for me. Fucking finally. Well, we're about as safe as we're going to be here. All right, let's go to the fucking store. Now, of course, there are other shit. I don't want to go there. There are other areas, like here, this is the, uh, well, the poor side of town is what you saw right there. You don't want to go in that area um, this early in the game. Cattleton's General Store. Castleton's General Store, yeah. Okay, well, let's go check out the General Store. Yeah, you want to try to get the, uh, the names. You want to click on the names and try to get that kind of shit, you know, uh, stored on your map, basically. Because you want to be able to, uh, Pick a, a spot out. What can you tell me about Peace, Shiler, and Sons? But I'm not sure where they are. My sincere thanks. How the fuck do you not know where they are? They're like literally two fucking blocks from your store, pal. You that much of an insular fucking idiot? 36 coins. I don't give a shit. Take it. That armor's worth a chunk. He doesn't want the daggers. Doesn't want that either. Doesn't want those. 11 coins for this shitty dagger. I'm good with that. I need a key ring. Does he have a key ring? Yes, he does. Key ring can go right there. There we go. That gets the keys out of your inventory. See, do we want a helmet? Paltry 240 coins, you can stick it in your ass, pal. We're gonna wait on that then. But we are gonna gear up a little bit more. AC9, AC9, yeah, there's no difference in the leather. I couldn't remember if there were different grades of leather in this or what, so. A lot of RPGs do that. What's this place? Fashion Palace. Yeah, we don't really have any need of that guy's services right now. Not present. Grab 
Grant's Tavern. I remember there's something to do in here. I think it's got something to do with this little fuckhead. You may notice the gnomes here are always guarded by half-ogres. There's a reason for that. I don't remember what the hell this little bastard does. Greetings, gnome. What's your name? Uh, J.M. Mora, at your service. Might I also inquire as to your designation? But of course I am. Fight for What brings this fine establishment? Fight for Allow me to recommend the ale. It's unquestionably the best in Torrent. What sites do you recommend of you? Okay, I'll be going now, yeah. I'm vaguely remembering there being something to do with that little bastard, but I just don't remember exactly what. And I did, it, Grant's Tavern did not, um, his location did not go on my uh, map. There it went now. How may we at the Tarrant Telegraph Office help you today? Do you have a telegram for Virgil? He shuffles some papers around. Yes, as we do, as a matter of fact, this will be two coins. That will be two coins. There you go. Thank you. Please come again. There we go. The telegram. I have discovered something interesting concerning our friends with the strange amulets. Stop. I am off to investigate my theories regarding them. Please accept my humble... Telegram sent by Elder Joaquin. Joaquin. I don't know what to make of it. It seems that he thinks it's very important to find out why these men are trying to kill you. Much more important than being here to protect you. It is blasted! I'm sorry, I don't mean to get so angry. I just don't have any idea what's going on here. All I know is that Joaquim showed me a better way, a new faith, and now I'm involved in something even I don't believe. What do you think? Let's stick to the things we know, finding the owner of the ring. Yes. There is a particular wisdom in your words. <laughs> and crying about this prophecy gibberish isn't going to keep a knife out of your ribs. I'll shut up for a while and we'll concentrate on that ring. If we find the owner, maybe we'll find out why those bloody assassins want it so badly. That sounds fine, Virgil. All right. Listen, Tarant is a big city, and a man needs to watch what he does and who he talks to. Believe me, I know a lot about surviving in places like this. This and worse. Just keep one eye always open, and one hand always on your weapon. You can't trust strangers, and sometimes not even your friends. I used to... Sounds like you know a lot about surviving in the streets. I used to... Well, that was another time. I, I know my way around. Just be on your guard, and I'll be watching out for you as well. Well, how are you such an absolute fucking wuss, though, if you surviving on the damn streets all the damn time? No! I don't want to talk about it! I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to... There's so much I have to learn. Joaquim says the free man is defined by what he does today. I look no more behind me. Yes. Let's, uh... Let's keep moving forward. Okay, what's this shithole? Gears and gadgetry. Let's see if this wank stain will actually purchase anything from me. Okay, there we go. It, it marked him. Oh, her, okay. Oh, they don't want lockpicks. I think the Thieves Guild is the one that buys those. They won't buy that. Oh, that's a Vindigroth gear. I'll try the weapons salesman, see if they'll buy that shit. Um, a hundred nine coins for a fucking fatigue restorer. I'll buy a couple of them. They might be somewhat useful in combat, at least until I get my fatigue up high enough to where I'm not such a fucking paper tiger. Okay. I know where I have to go. I do remember this part very fucking well. I'm gonna 
go over here and get that address though while I'm right here, because why the fuck not? I gotta run past it anyway. Alright, don't go inside. No. I don't actually want to go in there. There we go. Got their address. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Your name is? And who might you be to ask a dwarf his name? Bloody ignorant outlander, I'd say. As if a dwarf would give his name. Forgive me, I wasn't aware of such a breach in etiquette. Excuse me. You don't need to take such treatment from this dwarf. Bloody annoying little runt, if you ask me. I mean, look at him. Putting on airs like he's some sort of native dwarf. I'd be surprised if he's ever even been out of the city in his entire life. You can always smell a city dwarf a mile away. He's probably got a manicure. His beard looks a bit scraggly, too. Probably out past his bedtime. I was saying that it was bloody rude of you to be asking me, a dwarf, for his name. It's not something to be thrown out and away like the day's rubbish. Hmm. I suppose you're none to blame, stranger. Perhaps I am a little quick-tempered myself. Please forgive my harsh words. You may call me Magnus. Well, dwarves are an ancient race, and our traditions run deep. A dwarf's true name, his family name, is a sacred thing. A thing of mystery and power. Magnus is my common name. If I knew you well, I'd also tell you my family name. But Magnus will do for now. Why are you so protective of your family name? Dwarven names are symbolic. A reflection of our history, who we are. A dwarf who gives just anyone his name has no respect for that history. It's nice to meet an outlander who tries to understand our ways. Well met, my friend. Now, how can I help you? Might I ask you a few questions? What is it that you need to know? Do you know what this establish what the establishment this is? Yes, I do. And I curse the day I ran across the devils who own it. Ungodly bunch they are. I can only guess what goes on behind those doors. That building is the headquarters for the infamous P. Schuyler and Sons. What can you divulge about P. Schuyler and Sons? What can I divulge, you ask? Where would you like me to begin? P. Schuyler and Sons is the oldest business in Tarant, a trader in jewelry and the occasional rare or sought-after trinket or bauble. Their business reputation is untarnished, second to none. And yet, there's something strange about them. Strange? Strange doesn't begin to describe what they are. Do you know that no one has seen the supposed owner, Polonius Schuyler, or his sons in more than 15 years? But even then, the gentleman who saw them, a trader in gems from Ireland, died a week later from what they could only describe as consumption. What else is said about them? Have you heard about the Eyeless Five? Eight years ago, there were five ruby pendants sold at auction through P. Schuyler and Sons. All the ladies who wore them were murdered, their eyes plucked from their heads. Why would P. Schuyler and Sons plot to kill their customers? <laughs> why do madmen do anything? They're bloody madmen, that's why! If you're not going to use the scent you were born with, then I'll not continue. Suffice it to say that P. Schuyler and Sons is an extremely unusual company. And I'm not the only one to think so. I might ask you the same, my friend. You seem awfully curious about P. Schuyler and Sons. What brings you here? I'm investigating a ring. It appears they were the sellers. Interesting. I, too, am investigating one of their products. I saw it for sale in a pawn shop down the merchant's quarter, and it had their imprint. Would you like to see it? The dwarf shows you a rather plain-looking bronze bracelet with some faded scratchings barely visible along its outer surface. On the inside, you see the imprint of P. Schuyler and Sons. A rather nondescript piece, I'd say. What's its significance? Nondescript? This bracelet is ancient! An unbelievable find! And the final piece to a puzzle I've spent my whole life trying to unravel! Out with it, man. Don't keep me hanging on a thread. 
Do you see these dwarven gauntlets I wear? They were given to me by my grandfather, who in turn received them from his. Do you see the symbol carved on them? It's the same as the symbol carved on the bracelet. These gauntlets are the only link I possess to my ancestors, my clan, lost to my family since before any of us can remember. Have you spoken with them about it? That, my friends, is the point of this whole story. I've tried on multiple occasions to speak with the Skylers concerning this bracelet and where they got it, but I've been stonewalled by their employees from the very beginning. They're hiding something. I know it! What could they possibly be trying to conceal? The sources behind their inventory. The reasons for their reclusiveness. Who knows? But I do know that I am going to find out where they got this bracelet, regardless of what is necessary to do so. Well, perhaps we could work together? Hey? Nope. It looks like you've got a full house already. Okay, so Virgil does count as a follower. I couldn't remember if he did or didn't. A dwarf always chooses his companions wisely. And I just don't know about you. I do wish you luck in your search, though. If I do find anything out, I'll share it with you. Okay, yeah, we're, so we're going to need to get some more, uh... More charisma going on. That's a little annoying, but it is what it is. Okay, uh, damn it. Path is blocked. Fuck my path being blocked. There it goes. Okay, well, I'm going to have to get some more experience going on and try to get some, uh... So I need at least one, maybe two more followers at most. And uh, I did look it up. Um, the follower formula is basically uh, your charisma divided by uh, four, basically. So basically, I, I got I need like three more points to get another follower, which sucks. But what are you gonna do? Okay, that's the wrong guard, human guard. I don't believe I've had the pre pleasure. Who are you? My, I go by the name of Jared, captain of the Vermilion Station Guard. You'll have to excuse my somber mood. I'm a bit on the distracted side lately. You're Jared. Do you have a girl named Wilhelm? Wilhelm? Yeah, fuck. Wilhelmina. What? What is it? Do you have word of her? I have a note for you from her. He reads a note. Wilhelmina, where is she? I'm sorry, she's dead. There we go. No, he begins sobbing. My condolences, sir. He continues to sob for a few moments before composing himself. I know I've no right to ask this of you, but could you do me a favor? Of course. Could you stop by the stone cutters for me? I need a tombstone made for my will. He mean it. It is very important to me. His shop is on the corner of Mulligan Bone Alley and East End Avenue. Tell him to come around to visit me. I can't leave my post. Of course. Thank you. Yeah, fuck that. We're going to... We are going to... We're going to dump the next couple of points into fucking charisma, because I need to get another companion at least. Plus, somebody who can actually use small size armor would be really fucking handy. And while we're going this way, let's, uh... Pop over here and see if we can sell some other shit. Because I believe this is the, uh... Weapons guy. Oh shit, I'm almost out of time. That's one thing about this game, you kind of forget just how much time you spend on it. It does take a long while to get shit done, especially when you have to keep reloading because this thing is throwing encounters at you like fucking crazy. That's what's kind of funny is I wanted to get encounters, I wanted to level up, and it took like 20 minutes or so to get a fucking encounter. When I just want to travel to Tarant, it throws everything in the fucking book at me. Yes, I will take 11 points for that piece of shit dagger. Okay, uh... They don't want kite swords. I don't think kite swords are of any use to me, so... I'm gonna throw them on the ground. Okay. 
Who's the junk dealer in Tarrant? I thought there was a junk dealer here, but I can't fucking remember who the hell or where they're at. Let's barter. Oh, wait, no. Change my mind. What sort of wares, yeah. And let us barter. No, he wants magical shit, so... Okay. I could have swore there was somebody... I think it's a junk dealer who buys the, uh... Who buys that crap. Um, is that the junk dealer? I don't fucking know. I have a very vague memory of where everything is in Tarant. There's some things I know where, exactly where they're at. Other things are like, wait, uh, where the fuck is that at? Okay, 40 Poulton Cross. Seer of the Unnatural. We'll be dealing with that bitch later. Editorial office. Yeah, that's the newspaper's office. Alright, well, anyway, let's get this fucking tombstone shit done, because time's a-wasting. Or is this the junk dealer down here? Fuck. I might run a little over an hour today, depending on what goes on, but... I might know I'm coming up on one right now, but... I do kind of want to get this done. You know, I'll turn in that quest, or get that quest done for the, uh... The stone cutter, and then we'll call it good from there. Quality armor. Let us trade. Oh, he'll give me some money for it. Okay, cool. We only need one, so... 233 coins. I don't think anybody else needs... Yeah, fuck it. I'll just get rid of it. Because we'll find armor all over the fucking place. Okay, Virgil, give me what your shit. What is it that you want of me? I don't know if he'll take kite swords or not, but... I'll leave one iron ore over there with Virgil and... Yeah, close enough. Let's see what he'll actually take. Five coins, whatever. He does want a kite sword. Okay, fine. Fuck you, then. Stick it in your ass, pal. That's a gun shop. Well, I don't know. Will he take the gun parts? I don't fucking know. What is it that you want of me? He doesn't want it. All right. Well, fuck you then. Yeah, I couldn't remember if he wanted that shit or not, so whatever. Anyway, let's go get this fucking graveyard shit done. Okay, that's a maximum allowed. Okay. We still have a ways to go. This is where we're actually going right here, but we can't get in yet because we haven't got the necessary uh, quest flags done. I believe that's the stone cutters. Yeah. But... Oh, 
Okay, we should be just about done. There's the stones. Pray tell, who are you? My name is Joseph. I'm the stone cutter here in Tarrant. I make headstones and such. Jared sent me. His girl has died. He needs a heal headstone. Oh, how sad. I will be sure to stop by later to speak with him about it. Thank you. I will be departing now. All right, well, we're going to go back to Jared, and then we're going to call that done. I think I'm still low enough uh, uh, magically to where I can use this. Vermilion Station. Yeah, I'd forgotten that about that fucking thing there, so whatever. Works for me. Jared looks up from the ground slowly as he approaches. You see tears running down his cheeks, though his expression is one of stoicism. Yes, what is it? I spoke with the stonecutter. He will, he will be dropping by. Please, leave me to my pain. What, you didn't give me anything for it, you fucking wank stain. I should have fucking charged him. Oh, well. Guess I can't complain too much. How are we doing? A little over two grand. All right, so basically what we're going to wind up doing is running around doing all the various other little relatively simple quests. There's a lot of little things here and there that can be done. Um, get me some XP's up, so I can, like I said, get another companion, and uh, get some cash and afford better gear for everybody. Basically, we gotta beef up a little bit. This is, of course, the part of the game where it's early and you're still relatively low level and undergeared and shit, so things are a little bit difficult. Well, anyway, with that said, guys, um, I'm going to call this an episode, and obviously next time we'll be crawling through Tarrant and seeing what kind of shit we can get done. And definitely we'll be stealing everything that's not nailed down or on fire. And we're probably going to get a crowbar and a fire extinguisher too. So with that, guys, I will see you next time.